A witness says an Austin woman looked out of it right after she ran over two people last night. It happened on a very busy block of Guadalupe just north of the UT campus. The crash killed a man and left a young woman seriously injured. And now the driver, 59-year-old Linda Woodman, is being held on two charges. KXC and Shannon Wolfson is live in central Austin where that crash happened. Those two charges against Linda Woodman, intoxication assault and intoxication manslaughter. Now, she told police out here last night that she'd only been released from the hospital just a few hours earlier before the crash happened here at this corner. She said there were also two very strong painkillers in her system, morphine and Percocet. Well, witnesses who were at the scene last night tell us Woodman should not have been driving. Her car actually was, was coming straight at us. Nathan Lanham feels lucky to be alive. We see this car screeching down the road going the wrong way and just smashing these poles. Before this out of control SUV could hit Lanham and his girlfriend, they witnessed the end of a horrific ride. I ran over to the, to the car and, and it was smoking. Inside the mangled SUV, a 59-year-old woman who Nathan helped pull from the car. So she was coherent, but she... She just seemed kind of, of dumbfounded, like she didn't know what, what was going on. And I actually didn't know what was going on either because I didn't know that there were people seriously injured 100 yards down the road. 100 yards down the road, EMS crews were already performing CPR on 61-year-old Deke Van Meerten. He was in town from North Carolina visiting his son. She had like a, like a deer in the headlights look on her face, just, just kind of dumbfounded and, and numb almost. Like the man was, was there being resuscitated whenever we walked her down there. and. Even if she hadn't done it, um, you know, there, there was just no concern for, the, for like this man. Van Meerten did not survive. Nearby, 21-year-old Sarah Parker was on a gurney. Like Van Meerten, she'd also been hit by the SUV. She's thankful she's alive. She, she is. She's, you know, upset that this happened to her. She was an innocent person walking down the sidewalk. She had just come out of the Weesville Co-op to do a little grocery shopping. And she actually saw the car coming towards her, from what I understand, and was able to try and jump out of the way. Um, but obviously wasn't completely successful. Parker's brother-in-law, Ryan Miller, says she has some broken bones and scrapes and will need more surgery. But all in all, she's lucky to be alive. I think she realizes that she's very fortunate to still be with us. Whenever I was pulling her out of the car, I, I kind of like, you know, was like smelling for some alcohol, but I didn't smell a thing. Police now say the driver, Linda Woodman, wasn't drunk, but under the influence of powerful painkillers. Lanham says he's lucky. But his thoughts and prayers are with those who weren't. For her, too, like just having to live with that regret and remorse the rest of her life just because she made a stupid mistake and decided to drive. Back live in central Austin tonight, an officer that was at the scene here last night said Woodman had no idea she hit anyone. In fact, thought she'd hit a pothole. Linda Woodman's bond has been set at $55,000 on both of those two charges. Live in central Austin, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN News. Sure.